Hey guys, this is J5. I might as well take into consideration my favorite new Pokemon movies. These are movies I grew up watching, recently watched, and in college, or movies that I watched because I found them interesting, no matter how goofy or batshit insane they are. And they're made by Toho now, not just by, you know, you know Nintendo and them. Toho has helped in editing and helping with animation and helping with sound editing for these films, new films from 2006 to now. This is my top five Pokemon movies of all time. I have some three honorable mentions before we continue. Number one is Pokemon Heroes. I like this movie because it's about Latios and Latias, but it's so dang depressing. A brother and sister are separated by poachers. It's terrible. It's really terrible. But I didn't want to put it on because it's one of the saddest movies. And it gets depressing. It's about family separation and reunion. It's kind of like Fable Goes West. Like Pokemon's version of Fable Goes West. But it has a bittersweet ending and it took to my heart strings. <laughs> Number two is Pokemon Forever. I like this one because it involves time travel. But the story does get a little funny and complex, so a little bit. And the last one, Genesis vs. Mewtwo, The Legend Awakened. One word. Too fucking epic. I can't put a movie this epic here because it just... If I did, it would ruin the whole list. It has bad karma. I love the movie. It's fucking action-packed. It's amazing. It's intense. It's just... It's like a pinball game. Let's get to the top five Pokemon movies of my list. Number five, Deontay and the Cocoon of Destruction. So, I like the movie because it was like an old-school adventure. You know, it's funny. It's cute. There's music. It's Pokemon. Come on, you gotta love it. And plus, the final battle is pretty damn epic. I got choked up. So, number five is... Deontay, The Cocoon of Destruction. Number four, Pokemon the Movie 2000. Come on. Bruh. Really? I gotta put an oldie here. You gotta put some oldies here. They spin the record vinyl players of Pokemon. It's a classic. Pokemon the Movie 2000 was very... Again, it got a little sad, but not too much. It was more of curiosity of the unknown. But I love this movie because the soundtrack. It was good. I mean, The Power of One, sung by Donna Summers, oh, oh my god, when I hear that song, I, I have so many feelings right now, I feel spiritually lifted in that song, but enough about spirituality and good music. I put it at number four, because it talks about the spirit of all things, and so spirits must live on. Pokemon 4 is Pokemon the Movie 2000. Number three, Pokemon Arceus and the Jewel of Life. You ever wonder what Pokemon would be like if it was a Godzilla-esque movie? I know they're all Godzilla-esque movies, but this is the most. You get a three-on-three -three monster rumble. You have Arceus, the monster of time and space. Actually, you get the monster of the cosmos. A god, actually. The god of all Pokemon. Versus Palkia and Dialga, the gods of space and time. In a time-altering universe special. We're an evil... An evil slave used the crystal jewel of life to destroy Arceus so he can take the scales with him to become rich and famous. I call this a Godzilla movie because the sound effects are ripped right from old Godzilla films. And, you know, Anguirus, King Ghidorah, Gigan. You can, you can hear some of those clips in the background audio, and it, it really brings back that old-school monster feel. Plus, it's hard, awesome music. It's intense and embracing. Again, it's a monster rumble, and when I heard Toho was licensed with this movie, I kind of nerdgasmed for a little bit. But hey, I'm an old school monster fan, and this would make me happy. And you know what? The message is actually good to respect nature and the balance of time. It also reflects about you must focus on your destiny and not, and also you must leave the past behind you. Kind of like Lion King, but except with Simba becoming king, it's Arceus and the main villain is Darius, who is the main guy who found, main king who found the scales of life. He had to learn to appreciate what he had, and Arceus had to respect Pokemon and humans because he didn't know they were not all bad. Number three is Arceus, the Jewel of Life. Number two, I actually like because of one thing and because it's also action-packed. This is Keldeo and the Sword of Justice. Why I love this? Two words. Vic Mignogna. Yeah, in the English dub of this movie... It's Edward Elric, plays a Pokemon. Not just any Pokemon, but Keldeo, the Young Sword of Justice. It's an awesome one because, you know, again, Edward Elric is a Pokemon. I, when I saw that, I, sh I shot my pants, folks. Really? 
He's a Pokemon? All right, that's cool. Take my money. I'm just kidding. But yes, the action is very good. Keldeo starts out as this kind of uh, coward a little bit when he's facing his own compadres. But as the movie develops, he becomes his own hero. Like, just like Edward. Just because he's small doesn't mean he can't be brave. And he proves that. He challenges over Kirim and wins and saves the day. He proves he's as good, if not better, than his three compadres. His, compar his partners. And it becomes part of the sacred club of sacred knighthood of the sacred blade. So it's a cool teamwork kind of movie that helps build your self-esteem and makes you feel good for accomplishment. And that's what I liked about Keldeo. He was an enduring, likable character. Yeah, again, he was a coward. But hey, it takes a coward to become a hero. The movie that's my number one Pokemon of all time is... Drumroll, please. Pokemon the movie. The first movie. I fucking love this movie. Yeah, it's corny. Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, the bad dialogue in English sucks. And to some people. I don't care. I fucking love this movie. The crazy pop song with Weird Al Yankovic? Hell yes. Give me some of that shit. This is an awesome movie that does a, it really talks about the dark side of genetics and what makes life humanity. Mewtwo's a good villain until he learns about human nature, and Mew's just damn adorable. Ash and friends have to deal with not only Pokemon, but cloned Pokemon. Damn. I know Pokemon would be that fucking dark. And yes, as just like you saw from the Nostalgia Critics review, I know Tony was a Nostalgia Critic, it's sad seeing Pikachu slap himself. I, I cried. But now that I see it, it's kind of funny. is isn't that crazy corny way. But hey, I know people are going to but you guys are probably going to say, but J5, you're being kind of mean on these Pokemon. Don't you care? Oh well, yeah, because I'm a fan of the show. I mean, a fan of the anime. But now that I look at it, it's just still fun to see how these Pokemon react to each other. I mean, they're not evil. They're just clones. But, you know, it was sad seeing Ash become stone. At first I thought it was fucking funny because he got stoned. Joke right there. But, you know, Easy is the hero, and it was sad to see the hero fall and come back again. Kind of think of it. Holy shit, I had a thought. A, a hero dying in mid-battle, then resurrected? Curse you, Transformers, Revenge of the Fallen? You did the same shit with Sam Witwicky and Optimus Prime. It's the same shit. I still love this movie besides that shitty comparison. I love it because it brought back my, my 90s childhood. It really brings back to my childhood again, and it makes me reason why I love Pokemon. It's fun, it's caring, it's just fun catching them all. So there you guys have it, my number one, Pokemon on the Move, the first movie. Thank you all for joining me for Anime Chat Mondays with J5. Thank you, Tony, for letting me do this. I gotta say bye-bye, brother. It was helping you out. Check out my channel. Check out our channel with our friends Seb, JW, Brian, and WWE fan, and Paul Jasek as the universe of blue tubers i will continue doing anime chat hopefully as much as i can on their on our channel i'm kind of choked up that this is the last episode i'm glad you guys support me and tiger dude's channel thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart it really means so much that you guys were able to check me out this is my last episode and i'm glad you guys got to check it out truly really from the part of my from the part of my heart it's great well it lasted but all good things must come to an end, so this is J5 signing off. See you guys.